Yeah, so I was thinking we could get some coffee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How about you for the announcer job? What do you think? I think you're loud enough. Round one, fight! <laughs> Okay, we're gonna take a reaction from the top, y'all, yeah, and just see what's up. I'm trying to get this shit going now. We're just gonna react to some shit and then from there, you know, put some videos, you know. We're just gonna react to some shit and then from there, you know, put some videos, you know. We're just gonna react to some shit and then from there, you know. I'm gonna let it load, okay? So I'll set up right back. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's me, 2.0, 2021. Yo, what's up, look my life, you see my life? Tell right. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Let me react. Let me just react to some stuff real quick. I'm going to react to some of YouTube. 
I'm probably gonna do some TikTok or do some TikTok and see some videos, y'all. But let's see what we can see. Um, let's see. Johnny Cage is completely reimagined. If you okay, notice, Johnny no longer has his green energy. He still has his nut punch as well as his shadow kick, and he also doesn't have his force ball projectiles anymore. No, 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 so no, no, a no, special gave him is a We're well, well, some videos real quick. Actually, be used twice, so this will allow Johnny Cage to get in quick. Go to home, okay? Um, police encounter demon. Crazy TikTok theories. This you want to do crazy TikTok? Okay, look. Let me see. Um, the Illuminati has just link. Okay, let's see. Keep on going. Yeah, let me know what y'all want to react to and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, look, let's see this right here. This right here. <laughs> you want to react to the video? There's nothing more powerful than you making your thing happen. Really going for it, doing business. It's the big leagues, no? Okay, let me skip this here, okay? Let's go. You hear it? Since the 8th of August, Peru has been trending on social media with more and more residents coming forward with stories and eyewitness accounts of alleged entities that have been reported throughout the area. Oh, okay. Someone by the name of Gustavo shared an interesting photograph and update about what's happening in the area. And it seems that the sightings are not slowing down. This is the latest photograph that allegedly depicts the mysterious entities that have been encountered by the locals. The man said that the reason the entity's legs appear to be giving off light is because it was a supposedly this been in like a small village, huh? Like a small in earlier reports. Residents said that these entities were either giving off light themselves or they were accompanied by something that was giving off bright lights. The original uploader said that the photograph was captured on the 9th of August. Oh. One of the residents said that it's only been in the last few days that these sightings have been picked up by news outlets and said that locals have been encountering them now for several weeks. He said that they are extremely difficult to capture, and due to the bright lights they give off, it makes it difficult to photograph them. The man then detailed that several locals took it upon themselves to take out one of these beings, but said that bullets did nothing to them, suggesting that it was like they were wearing them. The man continued by saying that the lights are blinding, and even theorized that they may have been used to disorientate the locals. Mysterious lights seem to be a common theme with these sightings. That's but crazy. Right now, it's not entirely understood what's creating these lights. Energy. Oddly enough, many people throughout the area have reported witnessing glowing orbs. These luminous, spherical objects have been reported close to where these entities have been encountered. Those who investigate the unknown have said that glowing orbs are typically described as spherical objects that emit a soft, often pulsating light. Witnesses report a range of colors, including white, orange, blue and green yeah. these orbs are observed to move silently through the sky sometimes hovering in place or executing rapid and unpredictable maneuvers unlike conventional aircraft they lack visible wings rotors or any discernible means of propulsion. interestingly all of these reports are happening just a few weeks after the u.s congress conducted a significant hearing on unidentified objects while previous encounters with advanced beings often revolved around the unearthing of peculiar technology in isolated settings, the most recent accounts originate from a rural area in northeastern Lima, Peru. According to local villagers, they are currently facing an onslaught from armor-clad aliens standing at an imposing height of seven feet, 
bearing a striking resemblance to large grey or insectoid entities. A common theme with these sightings that have been reported across Peru is that the entities have big heads and large uh, black eyes. Uh, According to local reports from the Iquitu indigenous people, the strange beings have been launching attacks on the community since July 11th, including one particular incident involving a woman who was grabbed from behind. The beings in question are believed to wear protective armor. It's crazy because all the videos is like all blurry and shit all the time. Because we don't have that technology yet. In response, the police and navy have been deployed to the area, and local residents have taken the initiative to conduct nighttime patrols. One of the locals said that their heads are elongated, and yeah. their eyes have a black hue. This enables them to have a clear view of their surroundings before disappearing. Their proficiency lies in their ability to evade capture, and that as of right now, residents have only been able to capture blurry photographs of them. Based on Villagers have drawn a comparison between the mysterious beings and Pilacaras, legendary creatures that are known to take out humans. Yeah. Despite the unlikelihood of this claim, it hasn't deterred online users from embracing it. One possible theory suggests that these beings are drones that operate in the area. However, this explanation doesn't explain what these beings are, or why there are a large number of mysterious orbs that have been reported throughout the area. One of the key challenges in understanding these orbs lies in distinguishing between natural phenomena and potential unidentified crafts. While natural explanations are possible, some researchers propose that glowing orbs could be the result of advanced technology, possibly piloted by advanced beings or utilizing unconventional. Okay, we gotta add here. Okay, what is, what is this here? So let's we'll skip that idea. Yeah. Let's skip it up here. What is that? Apex? Let's see what it is. There's an apex. I don't know. Yeah. Cartoon. Whoa. I mean, I'm always I'm a Fortnite person, so you know if y'all know me, I know me from Fortnite, yeah. So yeah, I'll keep on doing it. Okay, it's a new game. It's a new game. Okay, nice. Propulsion systems. These theories suggest that these orbs might be surveillance devices, energy sources, or even. Yeah, what I tell you, it's got to do with energy. The ability to emit light could be related to their propulsion mechanisms or communication systems. The appearance of glowing orbs has historical and cultural significance in various societies. In some mythologies and folklore, Luminous orbs are associated with spiritual beings, divine messengers, yeah. or portents of future events. These cultural influences can shape witnesses' interpretations of their experiences, leading to narratives that blend the mystical and the otherworldly. The consistent descriptions of glowing orbs from witnesses across Peru lend weight to the phenomenon's credibility. Witness testimonies often share common themes, such as the orb's ability to move noiselessly, change direction abruptly, and exhibit luminosity that defies conventional aircraft lighting patterns. The allure of advanced beings has captivated the human imagination for centuries, and one of the most yeah. iconic and widely recognized forms of these visitors is what's referred to as the Grey. Oh, the Grey. I don't know if y'all heard the Grey. So these are actually aliens. I heard, I heard of the Grey. The, the Greys are the aliens. Encounters with these enigmatic entities. Reports of encounters in Peru often intersect with the broader phenomenon and the narrative of visitations. Individuals who believe they have encountered one of these entities often recount experience. So, so I, I don't know if I heard about the greys. They're actually an uh, alien. Uh, supposedly there's like 64 different kind of species of different aliens that they have caught and had crashed in Area 51. So it's also in Project Blue Book. You can actually check that out. Um, greys are the only ones that are what happened, uh, they, um, they're they related to the reptilians. I don't know if you heard about the reptilians. We can we, we look at the video. These are the people that the shape shift into lizards, but these are actually greys that were, the greys had planted them in our world. These narratives might be influenced by a combination of genuine experiences, dreams, altered states of consciousness, and societal yeah. influences. 
The reports of these encounters in Peru are part of a global tapestry of unidentified phenomena and narratives. Whether these encounters are genuine interactions with beings from beyond Earth or manifestations of cultural influences and psychological tendencies, they represent a profound aspect of human experience, a desire to explore the unknown, to connect with the cosmos, and to understand our place within the vast expanse of the universe. That's crazy. So, what do you make of these mysterious photographs? And what do you think that residents in Peru are encountering? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Yeah, that's crazy. That's very crazy. Let me see what else. I don't know. We put a lot of crazy shit on here. I like to see that, um, see that night and, you know, um, okay, let's go. Let me see what else we got here. Okay, let me see. This man is living in a, sorry. The man that say he caught a glitch in the matrix. You know what? Um, I caught a glitch in the matrix too. Like I had a plane in the area that actually glitched. And um they, they, they had pictures, but it was on it was on another, you know. Just head to adskiller.com. Click on activate now, add adskiller to your um, So this is glitch, this is actually footage. You know what I mean? Actually, I had it in my old phone, but I actually went through glitches and stuff like that. Glitches are actually real if y'all don't notice this. I actually experienced myself glitches. So let's check this out. This strange object has been spotted above China. One user by the name of Lee said that they've always been fascinated by the night sky and said they've spent countless hours gazing up at the stars and planets, yeah. marveling like at a the city. mysteries of the universe. Although they didn't see this strange object, they reported that it was posted on a social media group they followed. The witness who saw the phenomena said that at first it was just a small, faint light in the distance moving slowly across the sky. Yeah. Talking? But as they watched, okay. the light became brighter and larger, until it Dang. was clear that it was not a star or planet, but something much stranger. What the is object that shit? was unlike anything they had ever seen before. It was shaped like a giant staircase, with a series of smaller orbs and lights rotating around its center. As it drew closer, the eyewitness could see that the smaller orbs were changing colors and emitting a strange, pulsating energy. They watched in amazement as the object moved closer and closer until it was hovering directly above their house, casting an eerie, otherworldly glow over the surrounding area. They could feel something being emitted from the object and said they felt a sense of both awe and fear wash over them. For what felt like hours, they watched as the object hovered in the sky, seemingly studying the earth below. Damn. The eyewitness reported that they could see strange symbols and patterns etched into the surface of the object and said that it was unlike anything they had seen before. As suddenly as it had appeared, the object began to move away, disappearing into the distance. For weeks afterward, the eyewitness could not shake the image of the strange object from his mind. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. They to take a photograph of the event, which they then shared to social media in order to get some answers for what it was that they saw. Various ideas have been presented to explain what the object was, with some saying that it was a type of atmospheric anomaly, while those interested in the unknown put forward the idea that it could have been a piece of technology that was cloaked, and that due to the sun's rays, it partially revealed... I don't know about that. Oddly enough, one user by the name of Samantha said that she had seen a similar looking object. She reported that she often dreamed of witnessing something strange and mysterious for herself. One evening, as she was driving home from work, Samantha saw something in the sky that she could not explain. At first, she thought it was a plane or a helicopter, but as she drew closer, she realized that it was something far stranger. The object was hovering in the sky, its shape resembling that of a ladder, with a series of rungs that seemed to be holding it in place. The object glowed with an eerie, pulsating light, and Samantha could feel the heat and energy emanating from it. As she watched, the object began to move, 
hovering over the road in front of her car. Samantha could see strange symbols and patterns etched into the surface of the object, and she knew that whatever it was, it was not of this world. Yeah. For what felt like hours, Samantha watched as the ladder-like object moved slowly across the sky, seemingly studying the earth below. She could feel her heart pounding in her chest, and she wondered if she was... You know what? <clears throat> I wonder why she didn't record it. She should have recorded it. If you see something in the sky like that, why don't y'all record this? That's why we have cameras, we got phones. Is it she just took a picture or she just was saving for herself or something? It's not really a glitch, it's more like an object in the sky. To me, you know. Um, but she should have she should have recorded it. You know what I mean? I mean it was the only one who had witnessed the strange and otherworldly scene. As suddenly as it had appeared, the object began to move away, accelerating at an incredible speed and disappearing into the distance. Samantha sat in her car, stunned and overwhelmed by what she had just witnessed. For weeks afterward, Samantha could not shake the image of the strange, ladder-like object from her mind. She told her friends and family about what she had seen, but most dismissed her story as the product of an overactive imagination. But Samantha knew what she had seen and she was determined to uncover the truth. She spent hours researching online, poring over books and articles about sightings and mysterious encounters, trying to find others who had witnessed the strange ladder-like object in the sky. Eventually, Samantha's search led her to a group of like-minded individuals, a small community of amateur astronomers and enthusiasts who had seen similar objects in the sky above their homes and communities. Together, they shared information and theories about the strange ladder-like object, trying to piece together the puzzle of its origins and purpose. They scoured the internet, looking for any clues or evidence that might help them understand the mysterious object. For Samantha, the experience had been both exhilarating and terrifying. She had seen something that defied explanation, and it had opened her mind to a whole new world of possibilities. When people witness strange lights or objects in the sky that they cannot explain, their first instinct may be to assume that they have seen an unidentified object. However, many of these sightings can be attributed to natural phenomena. phenomena such as weather patterns or astronomical events. One common explanation for unidentified objects is misidentified aircraft or satellites. A low-flying airplane or a satellite reflecting sunlight can appear as a bright light moving quickly across the sky, leading people to believe that they have seen something otherworldly. Similarly, weather phenomena such as lightning ball lightning or sprites can create strange and unexpected visual effects in the sky. These atmospheric events can cause glowing orbs, strange shapes or unusual patterns in the sky that can be easily misinterpreted as unidentified objects. Astronomical events such as meteor... I, I, I don't know where the glitch, I don't know where... The... To me, it's, 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 it's like an object, yeah? I mean, I don't know what they're actually watching. I mean, I don't know, I mean, they should have recorded it. Um, I already recorded it, you know, um, how long is the video? 60 minutes long, while this... Okay, I'm gonna look for something else, I'm gonna it, man, If I wanna see some footage, I wanna see some, you know, something that I, I haven't seen, you know what I mean? Um, If you love your town, oh, yes. except when the car.
I'm gonna see something. Um, if I want to check something out, I gotta let me know. The unexplained. Encountered with the unexplained. What does that show? Huh? I like to see this stuff because it goes around the world, you know, and uh, pretty cool. I like to see stuff like that, man. Have you been to Antarctica? Yes. It's more the tunnel than the entrance. I wish they came. Sorry, shock. This is serious. It's been serious for a long time. So we had to walk. The biggest danger is not allowing the public to know. Oh, no. The biggest danger is secrecy, not transparency. How does it look like that? Yeah. Yeah. Simple and regular life. It's a wonder. He spots something strange on top of the mountain, something that apparently he wasn't supposed to see. Andrew records what looks like a giant oh yeah he's about to take off of a mountain in British Columbia Canada after posting the video to TikTok his life becomes a complete living nightmare from UFOs to black choppers okay this right here it's, it's really about this TikToker that captures something. Um, he was not supposed to capture it. Capture it. People were telling him to go, and he he ended up missing. He came missing because people were telling him to go. Um. So you know he went. He went viral on TikTok, and and when he, when he went viral on TikTok, people were telling him to go to where he went over there, and then stuff started happening. Crazy shit started happening. So yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna watch this. We're gonna watch the video. We're gonna keep on watching it, and it's it's crazy, y'all. Huh? Um, so let's get to it and let's go. 
two helicopters. Hello. Mysterious roadblocks and black cars. Military people. Chasing him around. Andrew's life is turned upside down. Yeah. Here's where things get really, really strange. He even got After killed. Posting a video telling his fans that it was our holes. Yeah. For views, scripted and all, he disappears completely from the internet. Never to post another video on TikTok. And then on July 1st, 2022, he's TikTok fan. TikTok fans find out that his obituary was posted on the Camp Bell River mirror, indicating that he had mysteriously passed away. I mean, this has to be one of the most mysterious and unexplained cases in the past few years. And yeah, this, this is crazy, huh? UFOs, giant humanoid figures. Okay, so so he caught a giant on, on, on camera, and he was on TikTok. He was going home. I think it happened in Denver, Denver Colorado. He um, he was going, and then people started, sh you know what I mean? Started, started going viral, you know? And then people were telling him to go back. He went back. And then the military people were there, and then there was a, you know, a UFO that was there, and then it was different kind of stuff that was happening that they were following home, and then supposedly they had him hostage, and they they were gonna kill him or this and that, and that he said it was a hose, and then he he died two days later. Suppose, yeah, it's you know. So we're gonna keep on going. Let's look at this video. Look, there it is, the government right there, y'all. And it also leaves several questions floating around. Questions like. Are there giants? Not yet. Let the giant right there. Ele começou a latir para esse ponto da filha. E eu fui ver o que ele estava lá, gente, que era algum bicho. A primeira coisa que a gente viu foi que essa parte da mata caiu. Não tem incidência nenhuma de planeador ou alguma coisa. Aí eu segui mais para cá. Eu achei essa marca. É gigante. Do they really exist? Giants. Or Giants do exist. It's in the Bible, y'all. Yeah? Why would anyone want to cover this up? The thing is, I did some digging around and I found some really interesting things, not only about Andrew's case, but also regarding the fact maybe there's a huge cover up going on when it comes to Giants. The TikToker that went viral. Why? Today, I'm going for to catching a giant videos, pictures, and evidence from people and being killed the by the government they actually prove their existence and what you're about to see may actually shatter absolutely everything that you thought you knew about our world let's get it on y'all let's get it yeah. Okay, I don't know if y'all ready. Are y'all ready about this? Because it's something about giants and all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna keep on going. Let's keep on going. If y'all want something to, to react to something, let me know and we can react to this. Okay, so this is gonna be crazy video. So y'all gotta watch this shit. Let's When we delve into the mysteries of Egypt, that's pyramids, yeah. We uncover a world filled with enigmatic wonders. One captivating notion suggests that in earlier eras, our planet was inhabited by creatures of extraordinary size and stature. Uh. Some of the creatures that we still see today in our world, such as crocodiles, snakes, and even armadillos. They Damn, fuck out of kinda. They're not so big nowadays. So what happened? It seems that in the distant past, various yeah, watch this real quick. I'm gonna go. I'll we'll be right back. They created the ideal place for the growth of colossal organisms. Trees, birds, turtles. These things were much more massive in a distant past than they are today. So one has to wonder, what if there were also giant humanoid creatures of some sort? And is there any evidence of such a thing? 
I guess they're one of the oldest records of the existence, or the possible existence of giants and monsters, was the Epic of Gilgamesh, a story that was written in Oh, yeah. Ooh. Now, the epic portrays Gilgamesh Come back, as a yeah. very powerful and very tall king, the king of Uruk, a region nowadays known as Iraq. Now, Gilgamesh okay. is mostly known to be a five meter tall, fearless man, a man who builds a gigantic wall around Uruk. And while there is no definite historical records confirming his existence, in the 1800s, British explorer William Loftus actually excavated remains of what's supposed to be Uruk, suggesting that it did exist about four to five thousand years ago. But it's not just the Epic of Gilgamesh that portrays giants. From Norse mythology to the American Indian tribes, you'll find that similar stories are told in different periods of time by different nations throughout the world. But let's just say that maybe giants did exist in the past. There should be more evidence, at least more than just myths and legends. And maybe there is. If we start taking a closer look into ancient megalithic constructions, there's so much about it that we still don't know to this day. In ancient Egypt, we have the pyramids and many other megalithic constructions that to this day no one knows exactly how they were built. Some of these stones weigh more than hundreds of tons. And uh -huh. They are not local stones. And again, it's believed that the boxes themselves were. You know, um, I don't know if y'all heard um, somebody, uh, like this happened like five years ago, put like a, a remote control car. When you play, they put it inside the pyramids, and he put a video, and he had a camera hooked to it, and it went all the way inside there, actually went into a certain room, and he told the government that he was going to tell everybody this is a secret if they didn't uh, give him uh, $10 million. I don't know if y'all seen that, and it never came out, so I don't know whatever happened. He never, he said, I'll release the video if y'all don't pay me $10 million, so I don't know whatever happened to that, but yeah, I've been I, I trying to look it online to see about that, um, about that dude that actually, you know what I mean, uh, was trying to get money from the government, because something he found that we don't know. Yeah, okay, let's keep it going. Wait, how much? Seven tall for the box, and 30 tall for the leg. So the total of 100 tall for the box, and, and this is not local stone? No, this is not local stone. Where was it brought from, do you think? Not closer than Aswan, which is 1,000 kilometers. Damn. People would have to travel thousands of kilometers just to get these stones where they are today. How was it done that long ago? Well, no one knows. There are many theories, of course, but none either. The same with the statues located in the Eastern Island. Some of these statues weigh around 80 tons and are more than 10 meters tall. It's big. There are many of them. How did they get there? And who do they represent? Oh. I mean, it's a really small island in the middle of nowhere. How? In Japan, there oh, damn, are it's a small island. Strange uh, megalithic constructions. That that is crazy because a small island. How was something big getting a small island? That is crazy. That that, that is crazy. For example, in 1987, a local diver exploring off the coast of Japan's Ryukyu Islands stumbled across a startling discovery. What looked like a gigantic underwater pyramid was uh, 25 meters below the surface. Damn, I don't think that's not even that much. I think that's like far. It's like we put your leg in. Oh. As the Yonaguri Monument. This massive construction is one of the world's most unusual underwater sites. Nicknamed Japan's Atlantis, the rectangular pyramid-like monument is believed to be at least 10,000 years old. Damn. Now, I could go on for hours talking about these megalithic constructions. There's also Stonehenge. The Elora Stonehenge. System. That's There's also the mysterious Those are heavy of things. Padang in Indonesia. Now, what's very curious about Gunung Padang is that in 2018, 
Indonesian scientists presented data to make their case that maybe Gunung Padang is in fact one of the world's oldest known pyramid-like structures. Their research, which has been conducted over the course of several years, suggests that Gunung Padang is not just a hill as we think it is, but is actually a layered series of ancient structures with foundations dating back to some 10,000 years ago or maybe even more. Damn, this is crazy, y'all. But Gunun Padang isn't the only place where you'll find these mysterious rocks sort of laying around in an organized pattern. There's one place in Nigeria in Africa, one that most people don't even know exists, called Lutsin Mamaki, and it really looks a little bit like Gunun Padang. But all this could be just a big coincidence, couldn't it? No. If it weren't for the fact that in some of these megalithic sites, you'll not only find giant footprints laying around. Damn. There was giant. I think there's still giant. Do you know what? I know. I know that um, it will happen in 2001 after the Twin Towers and. The government, the USA invaded uh, Iraq or Afghanistan. Then there was actually a cave that some, uh, I guess, soldiers came missing. They couldn't find them. And they went to go check. And they were going about to see, and they saw all these dead bodies split in half. And the guy, uh, or a giant came out and started with the spear and started like, killing them. Were they into killing the, the giant? They even took a picture on them, and they all had a soldier were standing by them. Like, they killed, like, a trophy and shit. I don't know if you see it, but you can go check that out in that video. They keep on going. But also depictions, and sometimes hieroglyphs, oh. of giant humanoid figures walking amongst humans. Whoa. Damn, that's all written. That's that's written on the walls. Yeah, giant, look at that. Huh? This might actually suggest that something happened in the past, something that we're not being told about. But here's where things take a dark turn. If there is some sort of cover up on giants living in the past or maybe even in the present, there should be more evidence laying around. And there is. Right now, I'm going to show you guys compelling footage that may actually prove the existence oh, damn, of big ass foot. <laughs> in the past and even maybe. Oh, in look. The Ooh. Damn. That's a big motherfucker. Yeah, I seen that one right there. I seen that one. Padan, there are legends and myths of giant humanoid living amongst humans. These are just legends, right? Uh, However, on the shorelines of Kapas Kulun in Indonesia, no, I, 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 about 180 miles from the Moon Padan, you'll find these giant footprints laying around. <laughs> I did research about this footprint in Tapak Tuan in Indonesia and I found very little information on it. It's Damn, that is a giant, giant. I think, what do you have? Five toes? Four toes? What I did find, however, was a couple of pictures of it from 2011 and 2012. But it doesn't stop there. Curiously, the same thing happens very close by to the megalithic site of Dutsin Mamaki in Nigeria. Damn. A YouTuber by the name of David Anqua has been dedicating some of his time to exploring parts of Africa in search for giants. And in a why? Of videos of his, he's I, I wonder why people get this money from. They go explore just to get giants. Like, where you get... 
money from to go explore. What if you don't even find one? You know what I mean? Like, it's, you know, like, is he looking for bones or what is he looking for? A proof, a big giant? I don't know what these people have all this time in the world. Because I don't even got time to fuck all around the world like that. Like, you got this people bro. Actually found what looks like giant footprints about 200 miles south of Dutin Mamaki in Nigeria, Africa. Oh, it's like Africa, they're like from Africa. Uh, it's pretty big, but it's not a giant. I'm talking about like 10 foot giant people, motherfuckers. But when it comes to supposed giant footprints, there are many out there that we could go on and talk about. For instance, in Pyongyang, in China, there's a huge giant. There's a lot of scams. There's also one in Mazovsky, Russia. Another one in Africa that was discovered in 1912 by a hunter. Oh, yeah. That was almost a giant right there, yeah. Damn. But why would it be up that side? Giant footprints found in northern Syria in the Aindara Temple. Oh, shit. To this day, researchers and historians are divided about the origin of the footprints. Some believe that they were actually carved by men in order to remember the presence of the gods. Other historians and researchers suggest that these footprints are actually the real deal. And if they are, the giant that made them would have been around 20 meters tall. Dang. Unfortunately, we will never know the truth about these footprints because the Aindara temple was partially destroyed by the Turkish Air Force in 2018. There are also giant skeletons that have been found all over the world. And one that caught the attention of a lot of people was one that was found in Missouri in 1933 by J.D. Crane, a landowner who decided to cut the trees down to build a house. Okay, uh, April 25th, 1934. Oh, wow. Eight foot to four inches. See, eight foot, it's not that big. Like, when you say a giant, I'm talking about big giants. Like, we're actually, we're written in the Bible. Like, that's what they say when you read the last revolution. It actually talks about wizards and, you know, it's like a Harry Potter movie. Giants, goblins, fairies, and all that. You know what I mean? But, I mean, that eight foot, man. I guess you can say that's pretty big, but I'm talking about giant, like big ass motherfuckers, you know what I mean? But uh yeah, but okay. House and while he was digging around, he found seven skeletons, and one of them was about eight feet tall. And to make things even stranger, one year prior to this mysterious find. An article with pictures was actually published in the Steelville Ledger on June 15, 1933. In the picture, a regular person lays down next to the skeleton as a reference of size. As you can see, it's massive. And apparently, this finding was taken so seriously that it was actually aired on the History Channel recently in a specific episode about giants. There were many other giant skeletons that were supposedly found all over the world. But the thing is, if there is indeed a massive cover up on the top, that, that, that one was pretty big. Do these giants still exist to this day, hiding somewhere in our planet? And if they do, oh shit, that's a badass cave. I've been searching for videos that may actually prove their existence, and I found quite a few. And some of them may actually shatter absolutely everything that we know about our world. Oh. oh shit! That's a big guy. That's a fucking big bird. 
Let's start with this. Dang! Okay, look, this is this is the case, y'all. The TikTok I was talking about. He posted regular daily vlog type videos in his TikTok account until one day in April 2022. He captured something really strange on top of the mountain in British Okay, what am I talking about? Check this out. Oh shit, look, 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 look it. Damn. That's that's a big one. That's a big big one for Whoa, that dude is big. If you see, they're probably like 500 feet. He looks like a giant humanoid being on top of the But it is, it is like a statue, like a train or something. Canoe Mountain, roughly 15 kilometers south of Vail Mountain, British Columbia, Canada. Needless to say, Andrew's oh, video in Canada it happened in Canada at the time, amassing around 16 million views. People were completely baffled about it, and they wanted to know more about this giant figure. So Andrew posted a note. Apparently, whatever this thing was, it was gone. It was no longer there. This is the video that he recorded. Oh, he was even going back. I'm gonna set my camera on something so you guys aren't complaining how shaky it is. And the... Okay, I'm gonna use this as a tripod to try to keep it steady for you guys. And it's not even there. Oh, see, so there was something there. Oh, okay. so next day, Andrew posts an update, very strange update, stating that. He had encountered some sort of CIA agent that had stopped him on his way to the top of the mountain. This is the video of the lady. I just got stopped by some CIA fully from around getting trespassing. I said, public equipment, public area, public park, or whatever. I didn't get it on camera, but I'm going to go again tomorrow. 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 Very, very strange video from Andrew Dawson, and at the time, a lot of people thought that he was faking it, and to be honest, so did I. And on April 13th, 2022, Andrew Dawson woke up very early in the morning to venture himself onto the top of the mountain once again. And this is what happened. Okay. Okay, y'all. So, so eventually he went back, y'all. He went back, and uh, I guess he took a dog with him. I guess. So uh, yeah. Uh, and that's when the government said, uh, I guess. I think I've seen parts here, clips, clips here and there. Five thirty in the morning. And you see if he's there. Yeah. Now this is where things begin to take a really, really dark turn for Andrew Dawson. Oh, this is crazy, y'all. This is a crazy ass story, y'all. Oh, yeah. Damn. He stops his car to record it. Damn. Hours later, he returns along the route towards the mountain and spots two black choppers apparently extracting the government, yeah. From the mountain. So they're extracting something out of here. Two helicopters. Completely intrigued by whatever was going on that same night, Andrew almost reaches the top of the mountain. However, before doing so, a black car stops him, and this is what he caught on camera. You know, I would have said. 
You know what? I would have said, why you want me to go around for her? I'm here to walk my fucking dog. I would have said some shit like that, like straight up. Why are you telling me to turn around? Well, I mean, I, mean, I can't do a walk, sir. I mean, there's something I don't know. I mean, I, I, mean, I would have been curious. That would have been me, like straight up. I haven't had my camera make sure I was recording it. It would have been live. And something that happened, like straight up. Remember, the government came, they were following him, and they killed him. They killed him. Why? Because it's giant. Look, turn around. He's going to try to go again. So, I mean, maybe, I was, maybe he probably would have made it worse for himself, I guess. From this point on, Andrew's life becomes a complete... Hold on. All right, I got this thing here. I'm reacting to a video. What's up? I'm making a video for YouTube. Yeah. There's some people been been hitting me up and saying this and that. They want to act real. They want to act. The brother be my wife and all this shit. Like, come on, you know. Um, like, and I ask for a picture and they don't want to say. You know, they don't want to say their names. But, I mean, like, they don't want to like. They don't want to go Skype. Okay, let's go. And in his next video, he posts an update. Time Watch this, yeah. Being stopped. Check this out. Look at all of them. He had 13 something views, 13 million views. Look, 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 the same fucking car that was there. Let me check this out, y'all. Look at that, look at that. And they take off. Motherfuckers. What appears to be the same mysterious black car. Uh, why he didn't get his face? The camera of the face, man. Afraid and at this point not very sure what to do next. Andrew uploads a video stating that absolutely everything that happened to him was fake. To this day, no one knows if this video is real or if he was being forced to say something.